Hi, I'm Gary Westby, champagne buyer here at KNL, and I'd like to talk today about Pierre Payard Champagne. We have a few new ones in from him, his Rosé, and also the 2002. I had the good fortune of meeting Quentin Payard a few months ago, and um, now we're their importer here on the West Coast. They're about a 20-acre 28 acre property in Bouzy and very unusually in for Champagne all of their property is all in the Grand Cru of Bouzy. Um, while it's not unusual to have a producer that has nothing but Grand Cru property it's really quite rare to have it all be in one village. Bouzy is very very famous for making the red wine that give the rosés and Champagne their color. And this particular wine is a very unusual example of rosé in that it's 70% Chardonnay, 30% Pinot Noir, and only has 7% of red wine in there to give it its color. Very, very elegant style. We'll, we'll pop one of these open and taste it later. The vintage that we have from him, and I love his, his back labels um, because they're so full of information. Um, this is 50% Chardonnay and 50% Pinot Noir. Um, I'd love to take, show, you the, show you the back labels here um, and show you that they have not only the QR code on the back, which is one of the best QR codes in the business. When you scan it, it actually has vine age information, um, vineyard plot information, just an incredible wealth of stuff there for you to see if you scan it with your phone. But also you can see on the back label dosage 7 grams, Pinot Noir 50, Chardonnay 50, disgorged in April of 2011. Um, so all of the relevant data is there. Um, let's go and give it a try. All right, now that we've got it all open and poured, there's nothing left to do but enjoy it. Taking a look at the color, you can see how delicate the color is with 7% red wine added in and with that really high percentage of 70% Chardonnay. It's also got a, a really, really nice bead to it and um, the, all of the bubbles are just streaming like there's no tomorrow even though we're using a regular tasting glass, which, which is our favorite thing for, for tasting champagne here in the work environment and I think also the best glass for folks to taste out of. Um, when you're drinking and having fun with it at home, I think a flute is great, but for, for tasting, this is the best glass that we have. Smelling the wine, you definitely get a huge amount of minerality out of it. This is a very, very Chardonnay nose with some really good strawberry fruit. And then tasting the wine, What a pity to have to spit it out when I'm at work. Really, really dry, very, very focused style. These folks, 90% of their vineyard is Massal selected. They have only 10% of their 28 acres are clones. So they really have some of the best vineyard in Boozy, and it really shows through. I hope that you guys will check it out. And you can also learn more when you're at home enjoying it by scanning the QR code. Great information there.